To the modern imagination, the universe can seem like an incomprehensibly vast and complex place. The Earth a mere blip, a cosmic accident. Well, if you find that unsettling, then here's a beautiful and perhaps reassuring alternative. In this object is a very different vision. A vision that extends right back to the second century Alexandrian mathematician, Claudius Ptolemy. Here we have, contained within these elegant rings, tidy and symmetrical, the entire universe. Known as an armillary sphere, this instrument survived right throughout the medieval period into the early modern era, and it came to symbolize that most noble queen of the sciences, astronomy. It wasn't until the middle of the 16th century with the Polish mathematician Nicholas Copernicus that this concept was seriously challenged. Held stationary at the center is the Earth represented by this small brass sphere and about it rotate a set of rings representing the heavens, the celestial sphere, one complete rotation being a day. The sphere is mounted at the celestial poles which defines the axis of rotation. And its structure includes an equatorial ring and two smaller rings parallel to the equatorial ring. To the north is the Tropic of Cancer and to the south, the Tropic of Capricorn. Just touching these two smaller rings is another brass ring which crosses the equatorial ring at the equinoxes, the times of equal hours of day and night. This represents the unique pathway of the sun as it travels through the zodiac on its annual journey. Each of the signs of the zodiac is engraved upon this ring, which also includes a calendar scale, so that it can be used to model the apparent movement of the sun and the stars. The sphere is suspended within a ring which is supported by a cradle on an elegant tripod stand. The position of the ring can be adjusted for latitude. The top of the cradle has another ring representing the celestial horizon. Anything above the celestial horizon on the sphere at any one time is in theory visible in the heavens above, and anything below is hidden from sight. This particular instrument is Italian, made in 1588, and it is signed by Carlo Plato. It has a number of rather unusual features, including the moon mounted upon a separate ring inside the sphere, and a number of individual star pointers on the sphere itself. It has to be one of my favorite instruments in the museum. It is so elegant and beautiful.